today we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 most powerful players ever in rise of kingdoms the combined power of these 10 players is over 9 billion that's more than most alliances in the entire game who are these people are they actually millionaires and has this list changed since the last time i made this video all the way back in march there's been some crazy kvks since march and a lot of the players on this list have gone down in power back up in power and also one of these mega rich whales has from what i can tell quit the game that's right they spent all this money to be in the top 10 and i'm pretty sure they've quit so stay tuned to see who it is but first as a small content creator videos like this one wouldn't be possible if it weren't for sponsors like the one we have today huawei app gallery app gallery is basically just an alternative to the google play store that has a ton of extra benefits for people who play games like rise of kingdoms that includes games like infinity kingdom or lords mobile first of all they have a loyalty program that gives you up to 300 euros in huawei coupons every single month and of course the higher your loyalty level is the more you get and they're easy to redeem just go to the loyalty rewards page in game center to find them on top of that there's also a vip program for all players who reach level five in game center if you're a vip member you can get 1620 euros worth of huawei coupons every single month getting to the vip page is easy just head over to the rewards page in game center and that's not to mention all the other perks of using app gallery app gallery is constantly offering a bunch of free rewards and discounts for a bunch of different games that you've probably already played or heard of before and honestly getting up and running with app gallery is pretty easy first make sure you save your progress on the game you play most no matter what game you play you can usually link it to your Facebook or your Google account here in the settings next use the link below to download Huawei app gallery for your Android device or your emulator once it's finished downloading you're gonna have to download the HMS core and game center from Huawei and this is pretty much just their version of the Google services from there create an app gallery account within your country that's listed here on the screen once you're logged in use app gallery to go and download your favorite city builder games then all you have to do is log back into your game account so using your Google or Facebook account like we talked about earlier and that's it now you can enjoy all the benefits of playing on app gallery so what are you guys waiting for go ahead and click the link down below to give it a try okay without further ado number 10 on the list of the most powerful players in rise of kingdoms right now is none other than flying baroness in kingdom 1601 this player is often on these top 10 lists that i do here in rise of kingdoms and i gotta say last night i collected this data and today i'm going back to record the video and it looks like if i recorded this correctly last night about 24 hours ago they had 695 million power and right now they are down to 626 million power they dropped like my entire account's worth of power in a day yeah th this player's got to be at least a millionaire like this person is balling out of absolute control you can see that they have 13 billion 309 million kill points let's take a look at the breakdown it looks like we've got more t5 kills than t4 kills way more kill points in that department for sure over 450 million tier 5 units have been killed by flying baroness alone and 412 million t4 units rocking the germany civilization really good for cavalry players and for training extra troops definitely one of the best civilizations in the game for sure taking a look in the more info section we can see that their highest power ever was 742 million which just so you guys know if you compared their highest power ever to the current list we have that would still only bring them up to number nine they'd only move up a single place that's how powerful these players are okay they also have 114 million dead troops absolutely insane let's take a look at their commander view we actually don't get to see anything here other than what commanders they have they do have nevsky obviously yss and zenobia here so still rocking a garrison from a while ago but still nonetheless very effective and rocking the Zangyu as well this makes a ton of sense I'm sure flying Baroness is an insane rally lead and garrison lead and you probably have nothing to worry about if you're in their garrison or rally looks like they don't have an album and their achievements are pretty straightforward number one in Sunset Canyon 100 million power stone three in Olympia season four okay you know when I see Alliance Black Rose I think of Black Rose Dragon from Yu-Gi-Oh and is definitely one of the most badass cards out there moving on to number nine we have BT Cyborg in Kingdom 2291 one this player is coming in at over 700 million power we have 709 million power that's right we've already broken the 700 million mark and we're only at number nine on the list now if we take a look at the kill points we see a much different story flying baroness had a ton of kill points over 14 billion here we could see 4 billion 
553 million kill points we see 148 million tier 5 units were killed and 158 million tier 4 units were killed also rocking the Germany civilization here doesn't touch champions of Olympia clearly okay and honestly hey me neither all right nothing on the achievement mall looking kind of empty over here and the album okay we got something in the album looks like we got some Captain America we got some Marvel I don't know is what I don't know who this is anybody know who this is looks like he's from Tekken or something am I am I right Prob probably not we got Superman over here big Marvel fan okay DC sorry Superman's DC my apologies I'm gonna get roasted in the comments for this man taking a look in the more info we see 67 million dead troops and this is pretty much the highest power BT cyborg has ever been highest power was 710 million so they've lost about 1 million power since their peak pretty crazy stuff there if you ask me that is just so much power let's take a look at the commander view here we could see also got Nevsky in the drill master slot and charge captain is also filled by Zhang Yu we also see that the knight head and the iron guard are filled with the archers so we got two rally sets here okay gilga and henry with nevsky and zhang yu insane stuff there we love to see it fortunately we don't get to take a look at bt cyborgs uh talent builds or anything like that i'm sure these are all expertise though it's not something you have to worry about with a player like this a truly insane account i wish i could afford something like this bt cyborg hey if you're hiring brother just reach out okay i i, I I'm, pr I'm probably more affordable than you think okay moving on to number eight on the list we have none other than Mimi yes perfume of Mimi does clock in at number eight this time with an impressive 770 million power and 14 billion kill points coming in at 596 million tier four units 397 million tier five units and also rocking the Germany civilization we see a lot of Germany tonight ladies and gentlemen if we hop over to the more info section we can see over 103 million dead troops absolutely insane but what's even crazier is that the highest power ever was over 800 million so lost about 33 million since her peak on this account a little spoiler there let's take a look in the uh, album we see okay I remember this <laughs> look was she like on a date or something like that playing rise of kingdoms I mean hey if you guys saw the short I just uploaded the other day I might have been doing my dailies at the club I might have been I don't know you got check out the short if you missed it on my channel here we have what I assume to be Mimi in front of a Ferrari a yellow Ferrari is she parked on the water too it looks like there's a bridge that's like oh my god this probably costs more than the Ferrari to be honest with you guys especially because at this point you know she's probably got a bunch of uh talents on these iconic crystals oh we got the Gucci shoes the Gucci bag we got the Gucci everything and okay yeah I remember this account I remember this account because I'm a fatty and yeah I'd be much fatter if I lived this lifestyle that's for sure taking a look at the commanders okay we do see that Mimi allows us to take a look at at least their skill and star level and of course they're all legendary and maxed out not sure what's going on over here other than Ragnar just being an absolute savage I love to see it this is a little sprinkle of personality right because you don't need Ragnar here she put Ragnar here just to show off that it's expertise and I like that that's badass we got the drill master and iron guard here a mandatory and Artemisia really interesting stuff there love to see that combination Probably not something you're using for a garrison these days but definitely powerful in the open field I mean who knows it's Mimi maybe it is a savage garrison under her rule I don't know but we do have Henry and Boudicca so clearly this is an archer themed account at least that's what I can tell by just looking at what she's got here and of course Boudicca and Henry are both already maxed out absolutely insane but the maxed Ragnar I thought the first expertise Ragnar I would have seen would have been on snaps account but here we see Mimi just has the credit card to just slam it on the table be like boom max out Ragnar what are you gonna do this account finished the engineering achievements just straight up and is almost done with overlord and is finished with vanquisher oh my god moving on to number seven on the list we have none other than also Mimi yes literally also Mimi same player same alliance same kingdom 1175 she's just got she's just balling she's just literally got so much money she has no no idea what to do with Mimi if you're watching I'll be your personal assistant okay and I, I probably will do it for cheaper than than what you're what you already got anyway okay and enough is enough also rocking the Germany civilization here we've got all four players here rocking Germany so far is that a bug are they all actually rocking Germany I mean even the previous account was clearly an Archer account and they're still rocking Germany like what's going on anyway 773 million power with over 11 billion kill points taking a look the breakdown is oh my god it's so close it's almost identical 368 million 
tier four and 368 million tier five kills on this account here we can see 64 million dead troops and the highest power ever was 803 million it's like Mimi's trying to keep these accounts like right next to each other it's actually insane looking at the album we just see a little bit uh more flexing okay more Gucci stuff I'm assuming Mimi owns a horse which is like absolutely um, incredible wait what if the horse's name is Mimi oh my goodness I want to pet the horse oh we got a little change here we got some Fendi instead of Gucci this time still whipping the Ferrari though we love to see it we love to see it. what's this we got plantains and some other sweets it looks like with the of course rise of kingdoms so Mimi obviously has three accounts because holy sh imagine this is your day okay you wake up you get your three rise of kingdoms iPads and you take a trip to the Gucci store in your Ferrari that somebody else drives because you're not broke like that that's that's what I imagined Mimi's life to be absolutely incredible taking a look at the commander view we can see here that this looks like it's got a couple of different options okay we do see uh some cavalry focus here with Bertrand and Yadviga however we see Flavius so does that mean this is the this must be like the garrison account and then what do we got the the max Suleiman really max Suleiman what is going on here is that another flex or are you actually rallying with this because it's set as the charge captain I have no idea what's going on with the Suleiman here but hey if it works for her it works for her and honestly probably anything works for her because she could just put the best equipment with the best everything in there and and just reinforce it with her other accounts oh my god we got the max honda that's pretty much uh that's something that you see a little bit more often than like than the suleiman for sure and of course the bertrand you don't really see max bertrand to be honest with you i really don't know what the focus of this account is to be honest uh it's i mean she probably just has so much money it doesn't even matter she could just max everything and, and it's just chilling coming in at number six we have to pay tribute to none other than burnaby in kingdom 1680 ladies and gentlemen it is my understanding that burnaby might have quit rise of kingdoms a long time ago in fact because look at the kill points only 1.5 billion kill points but over 804 million power now this is a player that gained a ton of notoriety when videos on YouTube surfaced of them gemming troops for pre kvk rewards an absolute legend in rise of kingdoms history but hasn't moved power in a long time so long in fact that this player doesn't appear on websites such as rockboard which if you guys didn't know videos like this one wouldn't be possible without the data over on rockboard.com so if you guys want a reliable way to get statistics for your kingdom go ahead and check out their service i am not sponsored by them i'm not affiliated with them they've never asked me to shout them out uh, but again these videos wouldn't be possible without them so i do appreciate all their hard work but burnaby doesn't show up in their top 10 most powerful because he I, to my knowledge doesn't appear in the kingdom ranking from what I can tell but I was able to find their account because there are videos of their profile and you can take a look at the uh player ID so we take a look at their album there's nothing here I don't know if they just don't have an album or if when the account hasn't been logged into for a certain amount of time they just remove the album I'm not really sure we see no achievements here on the wall at all but this is the first player that is not rocking Germany they're rocking the Arabia civilization absolutely insane in the farmer Alliance that's another clue for me as to how I feel like obviously this players quit the game right you don't have 804 million power and only 1.5 billion kill points if you're actively playing the game and you wouldn't of course be in a farm Alliance taking a look at the uh, more information we see 14.7 million dead troops nothing too crazy there and their highest power ever was 841 million and ladies and gentlemen if they were their highest power ever right now they would still only move up one more place on the list yeah this this list gets absolutely insane they haven't even enabled the commander view feature so yeah I'm pretty sure it's been a while since Burnaby logged in Burnaby if you're watching this if you see this somehow what happened man what 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 happened why'd you quit if you guys know Burnaby if you've played with him let me know in the comment section below why you think he quit coming in at number five on the list we have none other than Kang 747 now this player was actually supposed to be number four on the list as of last night but they've dropped power and the player who's actually at number four has gained an insane amount of power when i checked last night kang 747 had 869 million power and now they're down to 810 million 668 000 power 
still an insane number but i just can't believe that in 24 hours they've lost so much and the other players gained so much and we're going to talk about them in just a second but kang 747 is actually uh they also used to go by the name of madness in a previous episode their player name was all in Chinese so I had to translate it to roughly madness but we've got 7 billion kill points on this player 215 million tier fours and 242 million tier fives also rocking the Arabia civilization just like Burnaby they do dabble in Champions of Olympia they are gold three which is pretty incredible and of course their achievement wall is also all blinged out absolutely insane gathering of talents gathering of elites meta breaker children of glory oh my god and a gifted audience what is going on here with the achievements ladies oh it's got six of the child of fate achievements absolutely incredible still hasn't done what Mimi has done and finished the engineering or vanquisher achievement anyway taking a look at the album you'll see some of the cutest little puppy pictures you've ever seen in your life oh my goodness look at the little face it's so cute I just want to squish it oh we got to drop a like on that one everybody go and like this on his album okay otherwise you're fired does he have three accounts and they all have like are, are these all Zenith skins too what the heck my man's a legend he's a he's a legend he's pulling a Mimi taking a look at the more info you can see that they have almost 54 million dead troops and look at the highest power ever bro 976 million oh my god dude holy sh we're getting we're getting up there boys and girls we are getting up there that's for sure take a look at the commander view you see a lot of the same culprits that you might expect here with a couple of newcomers so we haven't seen Guan Yu I don't believe today uh on, on the on the commander view which is nice I don't think we've seen Nebu either which is a little bit shocking to me but of course we do see Nevsky and Zhang Yu as well although I don't know why they would be killing barbs with Nevsky but I guess they just want to show off that they have him I don't know we also see Zenobia over here so clearly this is a player that can open field they can rally they can garrison they can do whatever they want basically they've got uh, what seems to be infinite money and I don't know I, clearly they've been playing the game for a while because they they have the uh the Ninja Gaiden logo here pretty insane stuff moving on to number four on the list this is a player you're familiar with and it is dark cookie well actually it's DN cookie but it used to be dark cookie guys last night when I when I pulled this data for the video he was at 846 million power and now he's at 882 million power what is going on with these players ladies and gentlemen DN cookie is the Ottoman Empire first time we're seeing Ottomans here in the video with 6.6 billion kill points 165 million tier 4 with 244 million tier 5 this list just keeps getting crazier although I will note that I'm pretty sure flying Baroness at number 10 still has the most amount of kill points unless you add up all of Mimi's accounts maybe I don't know now the album is set to private but I will say that the Alliance Dark Nation does have other members with the name dark in it for example there's also a dark brownie with over 420 million power and a dark oreo with over 200 million power i'm not going to scroll through here and honestly oh there's brownie right there 400 oh my god this account went up 60 million too this is it's got to be the same player right holy sh okay we're just going to focus on the account that's actually on the top 10 list taking a look at the highest power. this this is their highest power ever they're literally this is it they are peaking right now this is actually an insane moment in history to be looking at dark cookies account unless they continue to push power 84 million dead units here not surprising there taking a look at the commander view you will see some of the same suspects we do see honda over here killing barbs not sure why that would be the case but you do have guan yu in the attack slot we have a manatore as the iron guard zhang yu as the charge captain obviously and zenobia of course as the knight head so a lot of diversity here honestly a lot of diversity i'm not sure what this account is specializing in just looking at the commander view alone but what i can say is that this account is at like there's it's just insane okay although only 81 command what commanders don't don't he have what, what what he don't got what he don't have I don't get it how could you I have 75 and there's 10 commanders in the game that I don't have so that means there's 85 commanders so I don't think anyone we've seen so far in this video has all the commanders unlocked what what is going on there now I don't I might have missed this okay but dark cookie is in kingdom 1556 and Kang 747 is in kingdom 1534 I don't want to forget about their kingdoms because a player is only as good as their kingdom so we got to make sure to shout out those guys as well with that being said we're going to move on to number three on the list 
and this is where the power numbers start to get really insane we have none other than farm well 808 ladies and gentlemen you may know this player as yoda 808 they've been in my live streams they've made this list before and i i am pleased to announce that they have officially broken the 1 billion power mark if i'm not mistaken this might be only the third player ever to break the 1 billion power mark will they stop here who knows but what i can say is that just a few weeks ago when baba was in kvk there was a point in time where farm whale 808 had more power than baba tc Ataturk. that is truly whether well hey whether you look at these kill points and say he doesn't deserve it whatever you might say he knows he's a farmer okay but I, here's a couple things that you got to know about farm whale 808 okay first of all this is the newest account on the entire list by a pretty substantial margin the only one that even comes close is dark cookie and dark cookie's been around for quite a while and number two this is still an insane amount of power no matter how you cut it no matter how you slice it no matter how you dice it okay this is an insane amount of power congrats on breaking the 1 billion power marker we've got 4.45 billion kill points 199 million tier 4 units 119 million tier 5 units in kingdom 1854 for also rocking the germany civilization these guys must be in troop training mode because i i've never seen this many of the same civilization on a top 10 list in my life let's take a look at the more information and here we can see yes they are currently at their highest power ever with 59 million dead troops taking a peek at the commander view and we got memed ladies and gentlemen we got a straight up memed on boys i don't i never seen it i've never seen something like this in my rise of kingdoms life my boy is rocking mark's woman okay which is a peacekeeper so i guess that makes sense we got two gatherers that are actual gatherers okay uh and i mean the rest of this stuff i mean i guess nighthead makes sense for city keeper lancelot I, I I guess I don't can you imagine having over a billion power and this is what your commander view looks like like <laughs> and I swear I did not tell him that I was filming this video this is literally just he's just straight up trolling okay he's got to be just straight up trolling brother my brother in Christ my brother my Lord Jesus Christ what are you doing holy shit, I just realized wait a minute he probably actually uses Dragon Lancer and wins trades look at this it's all cavalry talented except the horn what markswoman all talented except the accessories and the gloves with the archers holy sh he did it the absolute mad lad oh my god this is the sexiest player album I've ever seen in my life. Oh, he's got the screenshot of the 9999999. I love that. That's sick. Oh, look at the little puppy. I had already liked that. I probably liked that during a live stream, to be honest with you guys. My God, what a crazy account. I love it. Moving on to number two on the list. And this is actually the oldest account on the list following. That's right. The previous account, Farmwell, was the youngest account on, on this list. And now we've got the oldest account on the list coming in at number two. And of course, it is your favorite, ladies and gentlemen, Baba TC Ataturk. He comes in at number two every single time. It doesn't matter how hard he fights in KVK. It doesn't matter how many times he migrates. It doesn't matter where he is, what he's doing, what's going on in his life. He still is an absolute legend in Rise of Kingdoms. 1.1 billion power. That's a hey, Farmwell is coming for your spot, Baba. You got to be careful. But again, in reality, it's really really no comparison this kill point number is just this is higher than multiple players on this list combined Baba is tried and true one of the most savage players in the entire game they put their money where their mouth is okay he's chilling in kingdom 1556 rocking the ottoman civilization and i love taking a look at his profile just to see we've taken a look at this profile a number of times okay he often shows up obviously in the most powerful list but also in the most kills list obviously because he has the troops to kill and we could see 29.4 billion kill points 1.1 billion tier 5 kills absolutely disgusting oh my god that is so good 719 million tier 
four unit kills absolute savagery boys and girls now if we take a look at the album this album I believe is the same album as we've seen before he's rocking the Ducati we all know Baba loves the suits he likes the cars and I, I don't want to make assumptions is this is this his son is this his nephew I'm not really sure but it's an adorable picture look at all the likes this has got to be one of the most famous if not the most 11,000 likes on the Ducati boys we got to go in. we're just going to go in and like all the pictures okay bada bing bada boom there it is ladies and gentlemen I'm surprised I haven't liked them already but come on I mean the kit like I, I gotta just emphasize this one more time those kill points are so much higher than everyone else on the list it's just embarrassing almost take a look at the commander view we see still rocking Cao Cao in the Ranger slot but of course we have Nevsky and Attila very interesting and surprising combo that when Nevsky came out nobody really thought that Attila Nevsky was going to be as big of a thing some people thought oh it's like a fun combo but no Attila Nevsky actually popping off to be honest with you okay we also see the Guan Yu and the Trajan here rocking the Trajan that is, that is for somebody who can deal the most insane amount of damage in the entire game he's still focused on uh you know providing a little bit of support for the other armies in the open field I think that's pretty noble I think that's pretty badass he does give us a little peek at the talent builds and honestly this is a very solid talent build I think this is probably the best talent build that uh he could have gone with to be completely fair with you yeah I actually like this build a lot I probably would do the same thing Nevsky maybe honestly I'm not a huge fan of feral nature but I do think that it makes a lot of sense here with the naked rage I would say for most players naked rage is questionable but because Baba is obviously going to be dealing more damage than anybody else in the open field I think that this is a good uh, a good play for him overall really solid talent build I don't know why I would I just prefer going to the top of the the cab tree but that's just because I don't want to risk over raging with feral nature but honestly Baba just he could just do whatever he wants okay his Nevsky is gonna hit you like a tactical nuke anyway it doesn't even matter same thing with the Guan Yu talents I'm not sure I love these talents I don't love feral nature but again it, it's gonna work for Baba it doesn't matter he's gonna kill you it, it is what it is now coming over here to the Trajan I think this is solid for Trajan depending depending on if you're going to use mixed units if you're going to use mixed units you probably want to grab these things on the end here realistically he's covered some of the most important bases and honestly I don't use Trajan so I'm in no position to uh to give advice on Trajan of course Baba rocking all the golden achievements on the wall ladies and gentlemen oh I want to see yo I want to see Baba's equipment I just got to see it I just got to see it Baba share I just want to know how much of it is talented is all of it talented and how many iconic crystals does he have oh my god dude oh my god he wait oh oh he didn't even finish the engineered uh, achievements what's going on here he did finish vanquisher though okay oh he's got seven of the child of fates that's I think the highest we've seen so far taking a look at the more info section we can see that Baba had a highest power ever of 1.3 billion yes that is because Baba just puts his troops on the line absolutely insane 190 almost 191 million dead troops what an insane player this is ladies and gentlemen now even if Baba was at his highest power ever he still wouldn't be number one on this list because number one on the list is none other than Maverick L that's right 1.3 billion power and it's 1.369 billion so it still would have been higher than Baba's highest ever also rocking Germany no idea what's going on here ladies and gentlemen everyone is Germany today but Maverick in Kingdom 2010 eight billion kill points Baba has 21 billion more kill points than the highest power player in the game that's when I look at it and I'm just like okay obviously Bob is clearly the most powerful player right but technically by numbers it's Maverick unless if we add up perfume of Mimi and flower of Mimi we get over 1.5 billion power so technically technically Mimi has a higher combined power than anyone else on this list just something to think about because that is an absolutely nauseating realization like think about how much money both of Mimi's accounts cost oh my God. anyway Maverick okay 218 million tier 4 kills 291 million tier 5 kills if we take a look at the more information section we can see highest power ever was 1.5 billion holy shoo. 156 million dead troops I mean boys I don't know what the deal is here with Maverick's account they got it set to private they have no achievement set here people are saying through the grapevine that this is somebody related to the dev team that this is somebody related to someone who owns part of Lilith or something like I don't know okay I'm not sure what the story is behind Maverick seems to be a pretty uh mysterious figure okay Baba is like 
front and center like people know baba he is all about it okay and maverick is just kind of like silently at the top nobody really knows that much about him at least not I, I don't maverick if you're watching send me a message in game or or over on discord i'd love to see your equipment but until then we can take a look at the commanders here and uh we're also rocking the tauto in the ranger slot we see the drill master nevsky of course we see guan yu and zhang yu very uh common occurrences here today and yadviga as well but even maverick doesn't have all the commanders how have you guys spent millions of dollars on this game and you don't have all the commanders bro i'm so dumb bro i'm so dumb holy sh i just realized that torgny and wafura i only have 75 because i'm in the power of game mode i don't actually have these so there re there really is only 83 commanders okay i take it back i'm a fool forgive me they do have all the commanders how dare i question them they're not broke they're extremely rich of course they have all the commanders yeah take a look at the achievements not even close for engineering vanquishers kind of close five out of 11 for child of fate not much is known about maverick uh but he is known to be the most powerful player in rise of kingdoms and with that being said i want to know in the comment section below who is your favorite player on this list is it baba is it mimi do you want to pay respects to burnaby i would love to know in the comment section below and while you're down there visit the description and download huawei app gallery thank you to them once again for supporting the channel and sponsoring this video you made it all the way to the end of the video so clearly you liked it hopefully you'll drop a thumbs up on it and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here click the bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omni arc i will talk to you guys again soon peace